This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the geeks. We keeping a foot on the what? On the nigs. Let's talk about it. Go ahead, he knows. <laughs> Antonio Tarver. This guy's a disappointment. You guys will never see me compare him with Real to True Spence. As a matter of fact, I need to do that with myself. <laughs> he knows everything. I can't believe we're doing that to you. You need to stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense and go sit down somewhere and what? Higgity hush your damn self. Yeah, I higgity hush myself. Can you believe it? Let me say it again because what I said was so deep and profound. So hear me and hear me. Motherfucking well. I higgity hushed my damn self because I had the unmitigated gall. I had the audacity to compare Earl the True Spence with Antonio Tarver. But what ended up happening? Antonio Tarver proved himself to be a lack thereof, lacking the fullness thereof, basically being substance less, being sustenance less, having no substance, having no sustenance. Because when you sit here and say, Mr. Tactical Aggression, Mr. Technical Punch and Placement, Mr. Body Snatching Work, the Levying Onslaught of the Punishment Style, is not showing you improvement after every other fight. He hasn't shown you the ability to adjust. Did you watch the Kell Brook fight? Did you watch the simplicity of Boxing Fundamentals 101? Did you watch how he adjusted from the body to then off to the head? Earl Chu Spence went from body attack to the head. What were you watching, you Rudy Poo and Plum Plum Brain? What were you watching, you classic Dode and Troglodyte? What were you watching, you ultra fanboy with the ultra fanboy rhetoric? You don't fight nothing like Terrence Crawford. Your style is more like Earl the True Spence. Terrence Crawford is more like Roy Jones Jr. They shoe shine. The only difference is Roy Jones Jr. is more explosive than Terrence Bud Crawford. Let me say it again. They both shoe shine. Roy Jones Jr. is just more explosive in shoe shining. But they are shoe shine boxers. That's for the real G's, the super real G's, the ultimate real G's out here in these boxing streets. You know, these dodo heads, they're not going to get it. But he's a shoe shiner. You fight a simplistic style. You fight a fundamental style. I would think that you would appreciate what Earl the Troop Spence brings to the table. Did you not watch the Mikey Garcia fight? Mikey Garcia is a counterpuncher. So when people say Earl the Troop Spence can't counterpunch, he was out counterpunching the counterpuncher. Did you watch the Danny Garcia fight? Earl the Troop Spence was out counterpunching a counterpuncher. Danny Garcia's right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook. But he's also a counterpuncher. He times his punches. He does weight transfers on his punches. This is how Danny Garcia gets you out of there. Earl the True Smith was beating him at his own game. Did you not watch Lamont Peterson? Lamont Peterson is known as a hellified boxer. This is another guy that had a classic workout with Floyd Mayweather. Actually, it was the best to date until Earl the True Spence. Let me say it again. It was the best of date until Earl the True Spence's infamous sparring session with Floyd Mayweather when he gave Floyd Mayweather the black eye. And Floyd Mayweather fired him and then brought him back. Basically, he basically showed him that he was the Kobe Bryant to his Michael Jordan. Let me say it again. He showed him that he was his Kobe Bryant to his Michael Jordan. But this same Lamont Peterson, Earl Chu Spence, I'll box them. Did you not watch the Udenis Ugas fight? Udenis Ugas is a Cuban amateur pedigree boxer at the highest levels. Earl Chu Spence systematically broke him down. But to systematically break somebody down, you have to beat them at their own game. Oof. What I said was so deep and profound. I think this went over even Antonio Tarver's head. And this is supposed to be a boxer slash commentator. How could you not see this? Or how do you choose to not see it? See, this is the problem. All these Earl the True Spence haters, they choose to not see what they see. And that is Earl the True Spence is the truth. Like Freddie Roach said, they call him the truth because there's no lies in his damn fist. Like my boy Richard Schaefer said, we left the Mayweather era and we ushered into the Spence era. There's a reason why it's called the Spence era. There's a reason why he's the Megalodon shark. There's a reason why the ecosystem revolves around him. Because he obliterates everything in sight. But to obliterate everything in sight, you have to be a master at what you do. You think Earl the True Spence is just steamrolling guys? You think he's just bulldozing guys? You think he's just obliterating guys because what? He's a puncher? Earl the True Smith is a puncher and a boxer. But here's the difference. He's a master puncher because he hits you with 75 to 80 percent of power every fucking round after round. But he is a master boxer. 
because he is a guy that listens to the game plan to the T. Even more so than Floyd Mayweather, even more so than Andre Ward. That is his gift. He transfers everything that he does to the mitts. He transfers everything that he does in training camp. He's the only fighter in the game, in the history of the sport that does that. He transfers it successfully into the boxing ring. So when I hear this nonsensical, this rubbish, this trash coming out of Antonio Tarver's mouth, out of all people, you beat Roy Jones Jr. with an Earl Two Smith style. So how are you going to sit here and clown Earl the True Smith? He don't make adjustments. You're not watching Earl the True Smith's fights. Let me say it again. You're not watching Earl the True Smith's fights. When he fought Chris Van Heater, Chris Van Heater was a South African pride guy that was 23 and 1. This guy was a hell of a boxer. Earl the True Smith took everything away from this guy. Samuel Vargas, another boxer. Earl the True Smith took everything away from him. What fight are you watching? Are you even watching Earl the True Smith fights? Or you're just choosing to sip the rah, 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 the chihuahua barking behind the damn fence tea? Because that's what I think you're sipping. You're sipping that chihuahua yapping. You've been eating too much of that dry rub. You've been eating too much of that fish fry. That nasty ass variation of what they think that they're fish frying a shark been eating that mahi mahi that's what you've been eating see mahi mahi is fake shark let me say it again mahi mahi is fake shark so when it's all said and done you sound like a classic dope you sound like a troglodyte you sound like a rudy poo you sound like a plum blum brain and like the great rock says you sound like a fucking jabroni that's the cold-hearted that's the unadulterated that's the cutthroat troop telefashion i keeps the foot on the whoop on the eeks I keeps the foot on the whoop on the Higgs. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.